at Penn, does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Penn's rules or code of conduct? Yes or no? If the speech turns into conduct, it can be harassment, yes. I am asking, specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? If it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. So the answer is yes. It is a context-dependent decision, Congresswoman. It's a context-dependent decision. That's your testimony today, calling for the genocide of Jews is depending upon the context? If the yes speech or becomes, no? If the speech becomes conduct, it can be harassment, yes. Conduct meaning committing the act of genocide? Penn announced plans to host the Palestinian Rights Festival that was going to be held in September. And given that the ADL identified many of the speakers, uh, I believe the number was 25, as anti-Semitic, this continued to happen. Did you have the power to stop this event? Under our approach to academic and free, academic freedom and free expression, Congressman, we uh, have probably thousands of speakers to campus every sure. single year. Many of them I disagree with. Uh, I don't cancel or censor them in advance of their arrival to campus. Why did you invite Roger Waters? What did you think you would get out of him? Prior to the event, I issued a statement calling out the anti-Semitism of some of the speakers at that conference. Specifically Roger Waters. Yes or no? Roger Waters simple, is among simple. them. We have a short video that we'll play now that shows what these students are facing. <laughs> Did you see that video as an example of, of hate speech or speech that would incite violence? That video, just as a human being, uh, was very hard to watch, calling for intifada global revolution, very, very disturbing. I believe at a, a minimum that is, that is hateful speech um, that has been and, and should be condemned. Um, whether it rises to the level of incitement to violence under the policies that Penn and the city of Philadelphia follow, which are guided by the United States Constitution, um, I think is a, a much more difficult question. Well, I'm going to give you one more opportunity for the world to see your answer. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Penn's code of conduct when it comes to bullying and harassment? Yes or no? It can be harassment. The answer is yes. Mm -hmm.